cup of tea and shot. Hi, I'm Sarah from the Crafters Collective and instead of doing a how-to video for our craftivism projects, I thought it might be better actually to do a why-to video because you get everything you need in the kit to know what to do. I'll put lots of links in the description of the video of how to do some of the craft techniques but what's really important with your craftivism is why you're doing it and not just how to do it and I've got five why steps in your mini banner kit so the first one you might be thinking is why make a mini banner when most activism is about make it really big make a massive banner well as well as doing lots of marches and engaging people in big events it's also really important that on a normal day to day people don't forget that there's social injustice in the world and your mini banner is all about doing a bit of guerrilla marketing in a way a bit of street art which is why they're small because what you want to do is try and attract people to find your mini banner so it's not big and brash saying look at me look at me which means that the viewer doesn't think oh okay I'll go look at it you want it to be quite intriguing so you want it nice and mini so people are excited that they found it and that leads on to the next why why in your kit do you have as well as two lovely gifts for yourself to keep and everything you need why do you have two little cable ties? Why don't you just hold your banner like you hold a placard? Well, you want to cable tie your little banner somewhere relevant to the issue. So like this. And you want to hang it instead of in people's eyes or trying to like put a light behind it. You want to hang it lower um, than people's eye level because again, you want people to feel like they found your little mini banner and there's words on it so you can go up and go, oh, what does that say? So it's quite a humble form of activism, but you're hanging it somewhere relevant to the issue. So if you're stitching something about sweatshops in the fashion industry, then put it where fashionistas and fashion lovers like to go so near shopping centres or particular unethical shops or if it's on climate change you might want to put it somewhere where there's a big polluter or if it's on the banking system and how it needs to be more about pe people and not just profit maybe you put it outside some banks where bankers walk around so you hang it up and you let people find it and then they can read it in their own time and they might engage with it a bit more deeply than you holding a giant banner Next one is why cross stitch? So you can see on this one, we've got a bit of big cross stitch and then the small cross stitch, which is lines. And cross stitch, naturally people think of their grandmothers or people doing very soft, beautiful bits of craft. And again, activism can be quite aggressive, lots of capital letters, big signs, lots of marker pens or graffiti. So this is a very soft, gentle way to attract people to look at your little banner. And because they're attracted to something that's quite cute and cross stitch is sort of linked in with that kitschness and the same with the colour, the hope is that they look and go, oh, what's that? And they've got, they go with an open mind and an open heart. And that means that your message can have a bit more of a punch to it and they're more open to it than if you're just screaming at them where you think, I really don't wanna be told what to do. This is too, too full on for me. Um, and that links in with the, why not just tell people what to do on your message? Why not make it really clear and say, do this, don't do that? Well, us human beings are pretty stubborn. We often don't like being told what to do, even if we know it's right, even if it's by a loved one. So you want your message to intrigue people. You want to provoke people and not preach at them. And one of the many things in your in-depth instruction sheets is not only do you get the, the nice fonts that are gentle fonts with your cross stitch to do, you also get some message ideas. And that's often what craftivists find the most difficult is to create a message that's intriguing and non-judgmental with a bit of hope and positive Activity in there not really dire and empowers people rather than disempowers them so it might be a quote from a musician but that's about social justice and you put it near music shops or it might be on this one we've got a Martin Luther King quote so it's getting people thinking but in their own time um, and really let it sink into them and 
we've got some suggested messages in the kit because it can be hard and you can paraphrase them or it might give you some other ideas but that's why they're there to try and intrigue people rather than provoke people and then the final why in this kit and you can see everything else on the website is why have a little label on your mini banner well again for the viewer, which should always come first, always think of who's going to look at your banner rather than what you want to say. Um, think about how is it going to engage them. You want a little label, so if people go, yeah, that's quite a big issue, I want to think about it, but I don't know what to do, then they can Google the link and find out more information. And your label also says made with courage and care, which again makes it more of that gentle protest because you're not screaming at people and labeling, you're saying, I made this with courage because it took me a long time and it's quite scary to put up a bit of a banner and I made it with care because I really care about this issue so it gives a bit more depth to your banner um, and makes it a bit more personal so there are some five reasons of why you should make a mini banner and the impact they can have all of the information's in the kit including little gifts for yourself the kit's made super ethically in the UK and it's nice and small so you can pack everything up, continue making your banner on the bus or at lunch, see if people ask you some questions and if you have any more questions on how to do your kit then do get in touch but it would be brilliant to see your progress and your final piece and some of your craft of thought ideas um, online so do share them with us and your craft of thoughts are while you're stitching, you have a think about the message and we have some questions in the kit. Hope that helps. Bye.